Hello, uh, fellow gamers, and welcome to Rasta Gaming 2016. Um, in this tutorial today, if you haven't found out by the name or not, I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to build like a redstone kind of trap door or secret door or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, it's pretty cool if you just want to make something like out of the way, hidden out of the way. Um, the good thing about it is it's totally up to you where you want to build it and how you want to build it and what the fuck people have been breaking into my fucking bastards. See, I can't trust anyone with privileges on this world anymore. Soon I'm just going to stop people from fucking coming on it. Anyway, so... For today's uh, tutorial on how to build a piston door, you're going to need sticky pistons, a lever, a redstone, and a redstone repeater, maybe, just in case it goes a bit too far, and you can choose any other block you want, but I'm going to be choosing uh, spruce. So, um, I'm going to go up by four here, and... You can have it as wide as you want, really, but I'd say four is like the maximum height for it, I'd really say. Because anything too big, it really starts to lag. So, now you want to come down to the bottom part, and you want to dig two blocks down, and place your sticky pistons, okay? Now you want to break the block next to it, it's up to you on whatever side you would like to break it on. Now, the moment of truth is, does this get here? Yes, alright. So now you should be able to flick a switch once the redstone's down, and it should just come up and down. Okay? Um, and you can choose some carpet. If you get a coloured carpet, I'm going to use grey just because I'm being dull today. You can just cover over the redstone like that. And I mean, if you carried on the carpet behind, like behind the door, it would look more normal. Instead of just one line of carpet there. So I suggest that you put carpet down. And then what you want to do is you want to lay down your choice of block on top of the pistons. And that's going to push them up like so. Okay. So that's going to be your bottom one. Okay. That's nothing else but just your bottom one. My dog's making some weird ass noises. What's up puppy girl? You cool? Yeah, you cool. Alright, uh, so on the fourth one, on the fourth block that was up in the air, you... Oh no, wait there, wait there. Oh no, that was right. I think. I think, I think, I think. Alright. So sorry, people. Like I said, I'm kind of bunged out today. I got a cold, so I'm not really thinking straight. But, uh... You want to go to the fourth block, the last fourth block up on the top, and put a line of uh, sticky pistons, and then your oak, or well, spruce, or whatever wood underneath them as well. So now, oh, kind of forgot about that. <coughs> Let's see. I can't promise you that this is going to work as I'm doing it now. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Sweet. So now what you want to do. So, okay, wait there one second. So, once you've connected them up, it should kind of start to look like this. Alright. Um, I'm going to... You can, I'm just saying this now, you can make it bigger just by doubling the sizes. Um, I will do something like that on a different day. But uh, if you do this, okay, it's going to be quite a thick wall. But as you can see from the, wait there, I'm going to make it look all nice so it's all neat. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so that should kind of what you would wait what the okay I did not see him there so 
Sorry people, just give me one second whilst I deal with this. Alright. So now then with one switch, okay, we can set all of this up. I kind of broke that, there we go. So with one switch. It's as simple as that, alright. Um you can make it so there's like a free gap wide and then you have uh, sticky pistons that drop down and pull the fucking block out of the way and with uh, shit like that. That is re that's a complicated way but obviously if you want to add this into your house it is doable. Um, I mean you could even have it like a two way thing so this is in your house, you come out of your house. And you can lock your house up like that, and then you can bugger off. <coughs> okay, hang on, because we keep having a malfunction. Ah, shit. Did it think of that? Yeah, this one would have to be like one in for the bottom one, so you'd have to have two switches on the outside, so you could do that. But then you'd only need one switch on the back, as you can see. I'm gonna fill it right up the grey wall. So yes, okay. So the, today that's that's today's little tutorial on how to build a little piston door. Okay. Um, I tell you what. See, as I'm working with redstone real quick, and not many people know how to do redstone builds. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a engine, like an engine kind of thing, to power like. Uh, anything like from pistons to dispensers to uh, the redstone lamps, torches, anything. It can literally power anything. Um, you want to put one repeater facing one way and another repeater facing the other. And you want to fill it up with redstone on either side like that. And then you just kind of want to place that and ditch it out straight away. So mm -hmm. now then with that. You can power that. Okay. Now that's a small kind of build thing. Right, I'm just gonna leave that like that because I don't want it to lag out my world. Um, you're gonna need a stone, redstone, redstone torches, a lever, and that kind of be it. Unless you want to slow it down. Obviously, with this one, you cannot like press any of this because it just stop moving so you literally have like one speed on that whole thing as you can see it does go quite fast but maybe you don't want it to go that fast so instead you build this one <coughs> you go one by a gap and then one put redstone torches on the bottom like so and then like that okay so it should kind of look like that from above bring it forward Bring it back by one and put the lever at the back. And then you have this one here. Okay, mm -hmm. so then with this one, you can put a redstone repeater down. About halfway, like after the first block here. And this one can, like, you can change the speed of it and it's not going to mess any of this up. You can stop it and start it whenever you want as well. Uh, this would be quite good for, like, a lighthouse. This kind of design because you could uh, make the light flash at a certain speed, so it would kind of like, make that lighthouse look a bit better. So there's our two redstone, well, three redstone builds for today. I hope you like this tutorial, and yeah, <laughs> um. That's kind of it from today from us at Rasta Gaming. I mean, I will be doing some more tutorials throughout the day, so stay tuned. And I shall speak to you soon. <laughs> Goodbye from everyone at Rasta Gaming. Uh, have a good day. Job bless.